Sometimes when we talk things, you will not understand it. Amen? Amen. Amen. The pain of one is the pain of all. Amen. Testimony of one is a testimony of all. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I am sure by now you are all aware. Amen. Amen. That pastor is testifying. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, Pastor is testifying. Pastor is testifying. His testimony is my testimony. testimony. Uh, Tell your neighbor again, his testimony is my testimony. His testimony is my testimony. Look, a lie can run for a moment, mm. but it will never overtake the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, people of God. Amen. The way a manner God operates in our life differs from person to person. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you look with, at Apostle Paul there, his encounter with Jesus, mm. the Bible says while he was going to persecute the church, mm. am I talking to somebody? Amen. The light of God descended on him mm. and he became blind all of a sudden. He couldn't see anything. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And he only heard the voice saying, so, so, why are you persecuting me? Instantly, he become Lord. Amen. Who are you? Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Paul said, Lord, who are you? Why? Because he had an encounter. By prayer today, as you are sitting here, God will give you an encounter. Amen. Ah, tell your neighbor, I need an encounter. Amen. You need a genuine encounters of God. Somebody Amen. shout hallelujah. is going to come today and stand here and begin to tell to speak to you these encounters about Jesus you will begin to think you are not a Christian hallelujah Amen. but the way and manner God operates in all of us differs from person to person somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. when you look at Moses the Bible says while he is in the wilderness he had an encounter with the burning bush and the bush began to speak. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That was his encounter. But when you look at Joseph, the Bible says he moved from pits to Potiphar's house to jail, then to president. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. His encounter was different from the encounter of Paul, but they all had an encounter. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. We all need what? Amen. Genuine encounters of God. I also had an encounter. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. From the beginning of this ministry, I was having encounters. Mm. And I was asking myself, when is this thing going to end? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. But when this one happened, I said, God, my strength is already gone. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Hallelujah, people of God. Amen. When I found myself in a prison, oh my God. I become the, the, the best or the greatest criminal that the people have ever seen. Mm. I was not even allowed to see even my wife to visit me to say I want to. I can't. This one is the greatest of them all. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. You need genuine encounters. Amen. But when the encounters come in our life, oh my God. Yes. Many a times we become desperate. Desperate, that is triggered by fear. Mm. Because instantly we will forget what the word of God says over us. Mm. Hallelujah, people of God. Yeah. Yeah. While I was going through pain, I was planning if this thing comes to an end, I want to sue them. I want to do this. I want to do this. When God has descended on your situation, mm. you forget pain of the past. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. What you have been going through for years, when the power of God lands on you, you forget pain of the past. Amen. What you have gone through for years, you begin to celebrate Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, people of God. Amen. As I am standing here, all my plans of suing, of taking them to court, of making sure I'm going to do this, that was erased in an instant. Amen. Do you know that I struggled for all this almost one year? To get a statement, my lawyers, please just tell me what is happening. Nothing. 
Nobody never ever said anything to me. I didn't even know what was happening. And because of desperation, you become touchy. Hallelujah. Amen. When because of this desperation, you want to clear your, clear your name in your own way. You are trying to make sure that people would understand that you are the right one. Hallelujah. Amen. Desperation is bad. Mm. Tell your neighbor, desperation is bad. Desperation is bad. Stay in the word of God. Stay in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. While I was desperate, I tried to make sure that my neighbor, look, this is me. This is, look at me. I am okay. But that alone is not good enough. Hallelujah. Amen. You are trying with your own power. You know, when we went to court on Monday, on Wednesday, practically when you look at it, it was impossible for that case to come to an end. It was impossible. Because every time we go to court, one is not there. They say postpone. This one, we can't do anything postpone. But on this Wednesday, we were four. Out of 14 people, four people appeared. The manager said, hey, this is, if I may put it, don't be offended. He said, this is a stupid uh, case when it needs to come to an end today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I talking about? God is God in your life. Stand in him and him alone will save you. Amen. Not pastor. Not your neighbor. Him alone. When we stand in his way, his way will be true in our life. Amen. Father, help from God. Amen. When we stand in his way, his word is true and will be true in our life. Do you know that I've spent so many thousands with a lawyer that has never said anything? Yet the Bible is making us to understand that he is our advocate. But when you are desperate, you just want to do things. You feel like if I don't do it, maybe I'm going to be the one that's going to go to prison. Am I talking to someone? Yes. But I have lost money. But the word is there. Mm. And he's talking. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Yes. And the money we have lost, thousands, not small money. And I became desperate. Oh my God, what must I do? Yet the word of God is telling us do not be anxious. Listen for. Philippians 4, verse 6 and uh, uh, 7. Do not be anxious about anything. Oh Philippians. my God. Yes. Philippians 4, mm. verse 6. Yes. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything. But in everything. everything. By prayer and supplication. Is it be in everything with what to do what? Prayer and but supplication. By prayer and supplication. Mm. With thanksgiving. With the thanksgiving. When you look at your situation, don't be anxious. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be what? Anxious. In other words, when you are anxious, you become desperate. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. When we are anxious, then we become desperate. Desperate for answer. Desperate for solution. Desperate for prophecy. That's why we are even eating snakes in churches. Because we have become desperate. We are forgetting what the word of God is saying in our lives. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Do not be anxious for nothing. I know my God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I know my God. Tell your other neighbor, I know my God. Tell your other neighbor, I know my God. Tell your other neighbor, I know my God. When we stand with him, him alone will bring answer. Yes. Am I talking to somebody today? Amen. When you stand with the G-O-D, Jim alone will bring answer in your life. Amen. But when you are desperate, people will give you snake. People will give you petrol. People will do everything. Hallelujah, people of God. Amen. Why? Because you are desperate. Mm. Whether he heals me today or not, he will remain my God. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Whether he blesses you or not, he will remain my what? My he will remain my God. Amen. Whether he delivers me today or not, he will remain my what? My I cannot be desperate. I cannot be anxious for anything. God is God. Amen. The Bible says he is 
same yesterday. He is the same today. And he is the same forever. Amen. It means he cannot change. He can't change when it comes to a situation. Can I talk to somebody? Amen. You might be going through a situation that when you look, oh my God, everything about it is telling you, my friend, you are going down. I stand in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I stand in the written word of God. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. I stand in the written word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are having a revival. Yes. People of God, we are in a season of revival. Yes. Uh, tell your neighbor, we are in a season of revival. Yes. Yes. Revival is when things were not moving. Oh, God has given you something and it has gone down. When we speak of revival, say that thing must be revived back to its original position. Amen. Am I talking to your finances? Amen. Am I talking to your marriage? Amen. Am I talking to your business? Amen. We are saying be revived in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are in a season of revival. Mm. Anything about me, everything about me must be revived in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the season that we are sitting in. Hallelujah. Amen. Mark chapter 1. I want you to read verse 21 to 25. Mark chapter 1, verse 21. Mm. Then they went into Capernaum, mm. and immediately on the Sabbath he mm. entered the synagogue and taught. Yes. 22. Mm. And they aston- and they were astonished at his teaching. Mm. For he taught them as one having authority. They were astonished at his teaching. Yes. And he taught as one having authority. Mm. And not as a scribe, not mm. as the scribes. Mm. Now there was a man in their synagogue mm. with an unclean spirit. With an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, mm. Let us alone. He cried out and said, Let us alone. What have we to do with what you? have we to do with you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are. I know who you are. The Holy One of God. The Holy One of God. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every spirit knows who Jesus is. I don't care whatever spirit that was sitting with. But your spirit knows, as we are preaching right now, that this is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. The one that delivers, the one that cures, the one that brings breakthrough, the one he is who we say he is. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. It means no situation. If you are speaking and we are preaching about the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no situation can stand. Hallelujah. Amen. As we are preaching this revival and we are preaching about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your situation must be revived. Amen. It means your, 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 whatever spirit that has been behind your failure, behind your limitation, Amen. it's already going. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. We command it in the name of Jesus to go. Amen. Listen to what the Bible says. It says, when you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall do these things more than what you have seen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. It means he was, when they looked at, at when, when the spirit looked at Jesus, he saw power. Amen. Here we are. We are delivering power Amen. in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Amen. I say, as we are preaching right now, mm. there must be power flowing in your home. Amen. Power flowing in your finances. Amen. In your business, Amen. power flowing in your finances, Amen. in your marriage, in your children's life. Amen. How can I continue living in sickness yet Jesus is alive? Amen. Am I talking to somebody today? Amen. How can we continue crying with pain yet Jesus is alive? Amen. I say to you, we preach from what we've gone through. One minister of God was saying, we preach out of pain. Am I talking? Amen. When you look at every great man of God, they can tell you, they can, they can, they have chronicles that they can give you say, look what I have gone through. They are preaching the Jesus that they know. How do you know Amen. I say, when we become desperate for answer, for solution, we will miss the points. Mm. 
Don't be desperate. Jesus know your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be desperate for solution. Jesus know what you need. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be desperate for breakthrough. Jesus know your, 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 your life is for that till return. There is a written testament about you. Amen. What we, might, we need to do is to stand in the word of God. When we stand in that way, all these things they will come to us. Hallelujah. The man told us about it. That is what the Bible says. It says when we stand in the word, all that is written about me must come to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 14. Verse 12 and 14. 12 to 14. Listen to what Jesus is saying. John 14, verse 12. Mm. Most assuredly, I say to you, mm. he who believes in me, he who believes in me, the works that I do, the works that I do, he will do also. He will do also. And greater works than these he will do. And greater works than these he shall do. Because I go to my Father. Because I am going to my Father. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Power is in this place. Oh, yeah. Why? Because we believe. Amen. I say goodness is in this place. Yes. Why? Because we believe. Yes. I say favor in this, is in this place. Yes. Why? Because we believe. Amen. Are you here for Jesus? Yes. If you believe, power is here. Yes. Power to set free. Yes. Power to heal. Yes. Power for breakthrough. Yes. Why? Because I believe. Another singer says, I believe. Help my unbelief. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to the church today? Amen. And we are saying it's a revival. Mm. When we speak of revival, mm. everything that God has for you must be revived back to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Job chapter 42. Start from verse 1. 1 and 2. Job chapter 42. Oh my God. I like this story very much. Job chapter 42. My Jesus. Tell your neighbor, this is revival. Tell your neighbor again, this is revival. Tell your neighbor again, this is revival. Tell your neighbor again, this is revival. Thank you, Jesus. Job chapter 42. Verse 1 and 2. Job chapter 42. Job chapter 42, mm. verse 1. Mm. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do everything. I know that you can do anything. And that no purpose of yours can be withheld from you. And that no purpose of, your, of yours can be withheld. Can you tell God, I know. Tell yourself that I know. I know. My God is heaven. My God is heaven. Tell your neighbor that I know. For Jesus. Oh. Ah, clap your for Jesus, somebody. Give me 42, verse 10 to 15, before we go into prayer. Job 42, verse 10. Mm. And the Lord restored Job's losses. And the, the Lord restored Job's losses. Oh, yes. Listen, there is a restoration. He said he gives him. He said he restored. Even yeah. there was something that was taken by the enemy. Now there is a restoration. Yes. We are speaking revival in this place. Yes. There must be a restoration in your life. Yes. What the enemy has, has taken from you, there must be a restoration in the name of Jesus. Yes. Say, restore me, O oh Lord. Yes. Say, restore me, O oh Lord. Yes. Say, restore me, O oh Lord. Yes. Can God lie? No. no. We say it from the beginning, he's the self. Yes. Now he's the self. Yes. Tomorrow he's the self. Yes. Yes. I was talking to somebody, I was saying, even the cell phone that we are trying to make nice and what you want, God is ahead. Amen. Because in the world of God, we communicate with nothing. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. We are trying to have a cell phone that is smaller. In the world of Jesus, you can communicate with, a, with your neighbor who is in Mozambique with no cell phone. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Uh, people of God, we have not yet reached that stage. Mm. Where you can you can communicate by the time you, you would pick up your phone and say, How are you saying? Ah, I was thinking about you. How can how can you think about me? 
How many people of God? It means there has another communication that was going before you even pick a phone. Hallelujah, church. Amen. We are reaching that stage now. Why? Because there is a restoration that is happening in this place. Amen. There is a restoration that is happening in this church. Amen. There is a restoration that is happening in your life. Amen. There is a restoration that is happening in your finances. Amen. Say revival. Revival. Say revival. Revival. By Jesus, we have not yet seen power. I have seen power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For me to go in prison and come out, I have seen power. Amen. Tell your neighbor, uh, we have seen power. We have seen power. Testimony of one is testimony of all. We have seen power. We have seen power. Hallelujah. Amen. When I was in prison, I would go to eat for three days. Hallelujah. There were people also who were praying from the outside. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. For us to be here today, there were people that have been praying for this church. And God said, We are giving you another chance. Amen. Somebody say yes. Yes. Another chance. Another chance. For the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Give us a song as we are going to. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.